Hi, my name is Janet Thorin. I'm legal counsel for the North Carolina Real Estate Commission. I actually just stepped out of a disciplinary hearing where the commission is holding hearings down in Fayetteville, North Carolina today. So I'm hoping that you all will take a look at this video, listen to it, think about it, and um, take some of the suggestions that I'm making to you to heart as you go out and help buyers and sellers come together in this crazy market. Sellers should be conscious when they're listing a property whether or not they have had work done on the property and if so, whether or not they have had the proper permits pulled for the jobs that require permits. There is a limit of $30,000 on repairs for a general contractor to have to be brought in by the homeowner for major repairs, but smaller repairs like a hot water heater replacement or some electrical or plumbing work may also require permits to be pulled. And many times sellers don't realize this. It's cheaper for them to hire somebody who is not licensed to perform the work and they do that without thinking that this is going to cause them a problem down the road when they go to sell a property. On the buyer's side, a buyer should always be looking at whether or not permits have been pulled for work that has been done on the property. If a buyer buys a property that, say, was originally three bedrooms and now another bedroom has been put in the attic with a bathroom, if permits weren't pulled for that and the buyer gets ready to sell the house, they may not be able to sell it as a four-bedroom house even though there's been a fourth bedroom added. They would have to go back and have that work um, inspected and make sure that it meets current code requirements.